The legend of the chosen undead is a lie. It's a fake prophecy spread by the ruling gods of Enar Londo, designed to draw the most powerful undead into questing for the Lord's souls so that they can be used as kindling for the first flame and reignite the Age of Fire to preserve the rule of the gods. Having learned this, it's tempting to look for an alternative explanation, which is offered by Darkstalker Kath, identical twin of King Seeker Fremt, who haunts the abyss of New Londo. He tells you that the Age of Fire is unnatural, that Gwyn and his ilk stole the rightful Age of Dark from humanity, and offers you a way to set the world back on the true path. Kath knows the art of life drain, which he granted to to the four lords of New Londo and the dark wraiths that haunt that place. And tempting though it is to buy his version of events wholesale, looking at the parasitic vampirism of Life Drain and what it has done to the four lords, looking in the DLC at the ravages of the abyss whose darkness Kath calls the future, is the age of man, the age of dark, a world that you would want to live in? Every player has their own answer, but in Dark Souls there's generally no such thing as an unambiguously good ending. Subscribe to this channel for shorts, or watch my full Soulsborne analysis series on my main channel.